All right, just because I'm gonna roast his ass doesn't mean that that's why I need to disclose this. Yes, Marco Antonio Barrera is one of the greatest fighters in Mexican history, all right? That's true. I mean, I'm not gonna take that away from him. He was a damn good fighter, right? A damn good fighter. Um, and we cannot take that away. I'm not gonna take that away from him, right? And um, some people put him in the top five Mexican fighters of all time. I don't quite go that far, right? But he's definitely top 10 in my book, which is pretty impressive. So it's not like I'm just saying he just completely sucks and, you know, he just... When I say he's overrated, I'm not talking... I'm not saying he sucks. I'm saying people overrate him. Right? That's, that's all I'm saying. Um, with, all, with all that said... Okay, with all that said, right... Do I wish Nassim Hamed, right, would have landed a bomb over his big head and knocked his ass out? Yes, I, I do. I, I wish Nassim Hamed would knock him out, right? Yeah, okay. That, that's just, that's, that's, yeah. I would have loved to have seen that. Um, <laughs> what, what I, what I have loved to have seen, um, you know, Eric Morales, do a one and done with him, just prove he was a superior fighter in one fight, and that's it. Yeah, I, I do. If, if now, don't worry. I'm like, I, why? You know, those were great fights. You know, it's not like I'm gonna make them go away. I don't have a magic wand and shit. The fights they still exist. You can still go watch them, right? That's cool. And they were, yes, they were exciting fights. I'm not gonna take that away, right? I'm just telling you what I think, right? Do I think Eric Morales was a superior fighter to Marco Antonio Pereira? And am I, am I going to debate that till my last dying breath? Yes, that, that's just the way it is. Okay. Do I believe Morales won the first fight? Well, I mean, I think the first fight could have gone either way, to be honest with you. And if, if I'm 100% honest, right? Although I think it could have gone either way, right? Although I believe it could have gone either way, it was more of a Marco Antonio Barrera type fight, and, and I think that if he got the nod, I'd be okay with it. I, I really would. And, and and the truth is, this is just anecdotal experience. Most people I know, right, felt Barrera won for whatever that's worth, right. Now the second fight, I think I clear. I honestly believe Eric Morales won the second fight, right. It was a close fight, but I believe he won that fight, right? He fought a better fight in the second fight than he did the first fight. You know, I, I, be, I believe he should have won the second fight. I, I honestly believe that. The third fight, let me just say this before I get to who I think won. On the official scorecards, if the ref would have counted the knockdown in the final round, it's probable that Eric Morales would have won, right? But it was a close fight. All of them were close fights, you know. But the second one was the clearest, I think. I think, you know, it's... I think the first one could have gone either way, but most feel Barrera won, right? The second fight, this is anecdotal experience, most feel Morales won. I feel Morales clearly won. A cl competitive fight, but I believe he won. Uh, I believe the, sec the third fight was closer, much closer than the second fight. Um, I think it could have gone either way too, right? And I'm okay with someone saying, yeah, the right guy won. That's okay. If they can admit that Barrera's gloves hit the mat, right? If they can admit that, at the very least, I, did he edge it out? Sure. But I want to know what you think. If looking at just, if you believe, like if you tell me right now, yeah, yeah, I had Barrera winning by one round. At one point, then then at that point you actually believe Morales won because the gloves hit the mat, and I've heard a lot of people say that. So I'm just saying, it, it, depending on that call, okay, I am on this shit like, you know, I know Mr. Boxing today talked about replays and yes, we need replays in boxing because of what happened in that fucking fight. It was a travesty, right? And I'm upset that Mr. Boxing today didn't bring up the third Barrera fight. With Morales as an example, because it's the most clearest example ever. Okay, you should have brought that one up, Mr. Boxing, today, right? Well, that's it. With, with, with 
that's it. All right? Is Marco Antonio Barrera a jackass? Yes, he is. He's a jackass. Okay? Today he's act, trying to act all nice and, you know, trying to play it off like he's always been cool with Morales, which is fucking annoying as fuck. You know, like to ask him about Morales. Yeah, yeah, I'm down with Morales. Morales was a great fighter. Blah, 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 blah. You fucking fake ass motherfucker. You hate Morales. Okay, don't, don't stop. Stop acting like you like the guy. Okay, so stop. Stop acting like you've always been friends and shit, and like you respect him and all this bullshit. What about all the shit you said, huh? Like, like you know, he just. He's never said, yeah, I'm sorry for the bigoty shit I said. You know, yeah. Like, he's never said that. You know, so. Calling him an angel and shit, right? right? Making fun of him because from where he's from and shit. You know, fuck Barrera, right? Fuck his ass. Okay, just because he's a good fighter does not mean he's a good person, right? He's not a good person. Right? I don't like the guy. I don't like him personally. I think he's a piece of shit, right? And again, that doesn't take away, like I said, that he's one of the best fighters of all time. Okay, you don't have to be a nice guy to be a great fighter. It's just, that's just not the way it works. I understand that. But I don't have to like him. You know, I just don't like the guy. If people knew the real, you know, this is, I'm going to steal Carcino's little vibe here. I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth behind Marco Antonio Barrera. That, that's, I'm, I'm going to do my Carcino here. Okay, the truth behind Marco Antonio Barrera. Okay, he's a jackass. Okay, he's a piece of shit. Okay, he said some bigoted shit about, um, about Morales. I've done videos about this in the past. Okay, he thought it was better than him, and, and oh, look at me, I'm a lawyer from Mexico City, and oh, oh, look at me, I'm not an Indio like you, and like, fuck that guy, fuck him, right? Well, fuck, th just seriously, right? And look, th th there's some people that have argued to me, like, oh, yeah, he said that to him, because he knew that would piss off Morales, like, he wanted, he wanted Morales to fight stupid, and he, he did accomplish that, right? He successfully got under his skin, and you can tell that every post-fight interview of Eric Morales, it's almost like he was trying to prove to Barrera that he could beat Barrera in his own game. Like that, that was always like this, this, like ego shit-driven machismo. That you know, it's it's part of the reason you fucking loved Morales, and it's part of the reason you fucking frustrate the shit out of you, right? You know, you know, just he just did shit that you know you loved it if it worked and. You fucking hated him if it didn't, you know, like in the first Pacquiao fight, he goes southpaw in the last round, why, like what good would that do, but after he was done going southpaw, and Larry Merchant asked him, why'd you do that, Morales proceeded to ask Merchant, well, did you like it, you know, and Merchant said, well, yeah, and Morales gave him like a, well, shut the fuck up then, look, <laughs> he, he did it to prove, oh, look at me, I could go southpaw. In the last round against Pacquiao, in a fight everybody said I was going to get slaughtered in. That's why he did it, right? So anyway, yes, I understand, okay, that, sure, maybe there's an element of I say things to Morales to piss him off and get him off his game and yada, yada, yada. I get it, okay? It, it's, it's, he's still a jackass for it, right? He's still a jackass for it. Sure, and people are going to say, oh, you, you think he's a jackass for it because it worked. You know, I understand a lot of you will buy it because the thing is I don't buy it. I, I don't buy it. so happened to take Morales off his game, but he just he, he just crossed lines, man. He crossed lines, and I, I don't I don't respect him for it. I, I honestly don't, all right? So there you go, all right? So like, why don't you like Morales like, or Barrera? Like, why don't you like the guy? Like, I just don't like the guy. Okay, I just, I just don't like him, right? I just don't, right? I just, it doesn't mean, like I said, I, I could separate, you know, the fighter and what he does in the ring, okay, and and and, and the person. I could separate those things, okay? I can, you know, I really can. And people are acting like. You're just holding a grudge. Like, I've heard people say, because he beat the shit out of Morales. He didn't, he didn't beat the shit out of Morales. What, what the fuck are you talking about? All three fights were competitive, and they were all close. Some closer than others. The first fight could have gone either way. I honestly believe that Morales won a second fight, and, and I honestly believe that that was the clearest victory of all. Right? They didn't give it to him, but I think that was the clearest one of all. I really do. Right? And then he had, speaking of Merchant, right? Merchant's ass, like, 
Are you think, do you still you do not believe that he's at your level? And why do you say those things? Like he's not at your level. Like, like fuck him. And of course, Morales said, you know, some of us have a thing called integrity. He looked at Chilean Merchant. <laughs> he looked at Larry Merchant in the eyes and he said, some of us have integrity. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, it's just insane, man. It's just crazy. Anyway. All right. Anyway. Did I ever cheer but I don't need to fight? No, absolutely not. Okay, when, when, when Pacquiao beat his ass, okay, and his corner jumped in, I believe, what was it, his brother? Yeah, crying and shit. Oh no! Stop beating my brother. And shit wasn't. It was awesome. It was awesome to see. It really was, right? And then you had Barrera trying to ride, ride Morales' coattails when he he fought Pacquiao and beat Pacquiao in the first fight, right? Try to ride those coattails, man. Try to ride the. You know, just just like, oh yeah, I support Morales. And Morales, Morales said, I don't believe his ass. He's full of shit. He doesn't want me to win. He doesn't want me to win, right? Why? Because Morales beat guys that Barrera couldn't beat, okay? But that's the honest truth. Peace out.